This is the Sunday Gospel for Men, presented by Exodus. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord In today's Gospel Reflection, we're going to talk about heavenly dwellings. The Christian life is a pilgrimage. We are journeying toward our final destination, which is heaven. This life cannot and does not last forever. We cannot live forever on this earth or in these bodies, for both this earth and our bodies will pass away. This life in these bodies tests us and prepares us for eternity. The test is in how we respond to God's revelation in Jesus, for Jesus is the way to the Father and to the Father's house. Life can be a blessing only with God, for without Him, all life, even, or perhaps especially, everlasting life, is hellish. That is why our Lord's words are so comforting. We have the way to heaven in Jesus because He is one with the Father. The Father has loved him, and he has given that love to all those whom the Father has given him, so that they might live their lives in Jesus. It is no longer I that live, says St. Paul, but Christ lives in me. He lives in us, and we live our lives in him. As long as we continue to live in that love, we will keep living and find our permanent resting place after this life. In the Father's house, Jesus tells the disciples, are many dwelling places, or in other translations, mansions. The Father's house is the destination of our pilgrimage, and the mansions or dwelling places tell us some important things. First, they are dwelling places, plural. Unlike some philosophical or religious conceptions of our final destination, heaven is a place of variety. It is a place where, though we are fully alive in God, this does not erase our individuality. Instead, it gives it to us. We are not assimilated to the Borg, or melted into the One, or the World Soul. No. Jesus promises that he loves us as persons, and persons we will remain, reflecting in our own unique way the glory of God forever. 
Second, they are dwelling places or places to remain. Mansion is a good term if you know a little Latin. If you don't, you'll learn something new right now. The word mansion comes from manere, which translates to remain. In this life, we have no abiding city, for we are ultimately citizens of the heavenly city. That is our destination, our permanent address. And the determining factor in whether we get there is whether we stick close to the way to Jesus in this journey. So, in your prayer today, meditate a little upon times when you have not felt fully yourself or fully at home. Perhaps now, right now, in this moment, is one of those times. Then, ask the Holy Spirit to keep before your eyes the way that is Jesus and the goal that is the Father's house. This has been the Sunday Gospel for Men, presented by Exodus. Learn the difference between feasting and binging during this 50-day Easter season at StartMyExodus.com.